Winter in Xi'an is so much more gentle than in Russia, but I don't usually go out on winter days, making the cold days a little boring. But recently I'm so excited to learn that there is a big ski resort not far from Xi'an. To beat the cold weather, to beat my lazy self, I decided to go to a short trip to Kunchuan. Besides the king of medicine, Tongchuan also possesses many craftsmen. There is an ancient town there, and all of the people in town are doing just one the same thing. What is China is famous for? Of course, for its porcelain, or in English we call it China. So right now I'm in a Chengdu ancient town. This town is famous for its porcelain, but in this town the, here there is a pottery factory, pottery studio. There's uh, they made a really specific uh, type of porcelain. It's called uh, Yao Zhou Ci. So you can see this wall here. This wall, these things, are all made of porcelain, and it's just really really great. Later, I will walk in inside and uh, to look. There's a lot of interesting stuff here, and I hope that I will have a chance to make uh, like this porcelain stuff by my own. So let's see. Uh, right now, I'm inside of this pottery studio. And here are the four things that this studio is famous for in the city Tungchuan. This one is called the mystery teapot. And what's, what's the mystery of this pot? I will show you right now. So, look, here's the pot has two holes. The hole is like this is head of a dra dra oh no, it's head of the tiger, or uh, I think it's tiger, and has the the hole here. So I will pour, pour in some water. So we have the water inside and look what's happened. I will turn that upside down. There is no water like pouring down. It's really really mysterious magic. But still I can do this. So that's why it's called Pottery, uh, mystery, Mr. Pot. Right now, you just saw how the magic works. So right now, I'm just going inside the pottery studio to see how these things were made, and then I've got a chance to make by my own, by myself, the the things here. But here is really, really hard to make. So I'm going to make this one if I if I can, of course. Uh, I don't know, it's a small one. It's not so big. It's a small one. How long does it take to make a small one? I think it's a small one. 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 你在哪里学习？学学会的。我们就是祖传的。So right now, I just saw the potter made the these things, and 
I will try it now, but I'm a little bit afraid, and I think that it is it is really really harder than it seems. So here's the teacher to help me out. So I tried this and I've got this. <laughs> this is my very, very first plate, made it by myself. Just all you need is a piece of clay and your fingers and the water and that's all. And the magic is happening. But you know, you have to practice a lot. You have to practice a lot and then you can be as good as the people working here. Today I noticed that everything needs a practice. If you want to be a professional, you have to practice a lot. You have to, you have to spend a lot of time doing this, doing work you love, work you like. I will never forget this trip because this is the first time I was doing pottery and skiing and it is my very first experience. I am sure that I will come to Tunchuan again and I hope that one day I can become as good as the professionals. <laughs>